Hello fearless learners and welcome back to Blackboard English. Today we are going to look at different tips that you can start implementing to improve your listening skills. So number one is to listen to authentic material. What does authentic material mean, fearless learner? So authentic material is when you listen to content or it could be radio, YouTube, um, podcast that's created for people that English is their first language, that um, it's not simplified, it's not um, shortened because um, somebody created it for um, English learners. So, for, for example, textbooks, they have the opposite of authentic materials. Some of them might have it, but what they do is they simplify the language and make it so that English learners can understand it. So what I would say is look for content, look for, you know, pieces of um, content or things that you can listen to that allow you to see the rhythm, the patterns, um, you know, the, the different ways that English speakers will speak in a natural way. And this will help you understand natural way of speaking. All right. The next tip is to look at shadowing. So shadowing is basically when you listen to something and then you repeat it. So you try um, your best to mimic to, um, just like a shadow, you know what a shadow is, when someone walks you can see something dark next to them and it follows you around. So that's kind of what it is. It's your listening and you're copying what the person is saying. Now, if you go to my website, you'll find that all the videos have transcripts right under it. So whatever I say is written under the video, which means you can listen to these videos and you can repeat and you'll be able to see the text on the screen. Um, a tip would be to find something short, a short paragraph that you can practice shadowing. It will help your, definitely will help your listening skills. It will help, it will also help you with your pronunciation um, as well as your listening skills. The next one is to actually use um, listening activities from books, um, from online, different websites will allow you to practice your listening through exercises. So you're listening and doing a, a specific exercise and you can do this with your teacher, you can do this online, like there's so many different activities that you can use online. Um, and so feel free to find some and include that as part of a, a structured learning. So you don't want to just, you know, always watch Netflix. Sometimes you want to do different type, types of listening practice. Now, when I say listening practice, it means that if you do an exercise and you're listening, let's say you can't find the answer, I want you to still listen again and again and again until you're able to listen for the answer, until you're able to listen to a specific part that you weren't able to listen to from the beginning. So when it comes to listening, listening practice, it's not about listening once and saying, yep, I've done the practice. It's about doing it again and again and again. Remember, there's a difference between um, testing yourself and practicing your listening. Testing yourself, you'll only, let's say it's an ex in the exam, you're only allowed to do that twice. And for people that are want to improve, you want to listen over and over and over again until your your ear can get used to a specific sound, a way, a way that the person speaks, so that next time you hear the, the same thing, it will be easy for you to catch. So this one, I get a lot of questions questions around this. And um, it is to practice listening with different accents. Many people think that when it comes to listening practice, all they want to do is listen to native or um, English as a like as a first language um, to like people that speak English as their first language. This is going to be very unpopular. You guys are probably going to disagree with me, but please, 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 if you want to listen to anything. It's to like for you to improve your listening is to find different accents 
in English. So people speaking with different types of accents. And this will expose you to different people. Remember that like the only people that, you know, the only people that speak English is not just like English learners. I mean, English as, as a first language. Many, many people in the world speak English and people have different accents. So it's important for you to be able to expose yourself to different accents. So when you do communicate with um, people outside, you're not, you know, thinking, oh my God, I don't understand this person because you didn't spend the time to expose yourself to different accents. Well, there you go, fearless learner. I hope those different tips I've given you today really help you improve your listening tips. If you liked this lesson, please share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment and say hi um, so that I know you're there. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.